Hey guys, welcome to the second part of me rigging, planning and animating uh, full slot game symbols. So we have 12 of them and they are relatively simple. So I already made the first part where I planned them. And this part will uh, clean up the Photoshop file and organize them, um, cut them into layers, but only four of them, the basic ones. So I'm going to group them and animate them in the next video. So in this video, you will only see how I organize, cut them, uh, create uh, additional assets and at the end import into the spine do some troubleshooting as I promised it's gonna be a very long video I try to include as many tiny little uh, intricate processes in this video I will um, set up the Photoshop file for the four basic elements the stones and right away import it into the spine and animate it and next I'm gonna just pick up the other ones and put them into the separate part of the video. I don't want to uh, go and separate them and work on them without really understanding what I what uh, the animation is going to be. So for these four, I already know how how I'm, I'm gonna uh, do. So let's let's do that. Mm, these are the basic stones. And this one, let's put them inside the folder. So this is where we will be working. Let me check it. Yeah, all four, what would I need? The size is really different. Uh, I'm not sure if the client knows that or no. Mm, I think I'm gonna scale it because it's gonna look weird in the game. So let's just uh, convert them to smart objects. This is an educational video. I need to make sure uh, I work very clean, which I normally don't. I'm super fast. This means I work uh, destructively and break every layer and then hit Ctrl Z multiple times to later realize it's too late. Okay, um, let's scale this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract this symbol this shape where i will be just glowing and that's basically it so this is very simple thing to do and yeah but first let me just uh, put my glasses so i can see my phones are super tiny every stone every uh, symbol will be placed inside the skin and they all will go under the same project so we will have a single animation or two animation the one will be triggering they come in feature themselves and the other one will be explosion i will combine the structure the rig for these four because they will be pretty much the same and just the textures will change so this is why i want to start with these four uh, stones uh, right away let me go back so since this is going to be a skin let's drag it in the folder and create a tag and next i'm gonna set up the name for it so this will be the green rune so the reason i put it under a folder uh instead of just writing here because this was also work um i already plan to create multiple textures and all of them will go inside the same skin inside the same folder so this is um ready let's create another folder and i'm gonna call it glow I'm not tagging it anything. Let's call glow one and then I can duplicate it. So let's create a mask. I'm not perfect at Photoshop. This is uh, most likely can be done very easily. But this is how I do. Let's duplicate this. Uh, close the first one. So we see what we do. What I want to do is this is the first part i want to take the second part the middle part uh the middle will be uh from two parts so this is the left side of the middle part anyway you will see what i'm gonna do now so make sure this is only visible and then let's delete the edge and show up a little bit of the middle so let's check it so this and this and maybe a little bit more yeah and then let's hide this part so this is what we will have 
We'll do the same for this ones, hiding this. So this is what we'll have. Boom, 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 boom. Glow one, glow two. So let's go quicker. Glow three, and finally glow four. It's gonna look amazing, really. So this is our stone. And lastly, I'm gonna set a scale. 0.3 i don't need full scale of this i need it super small it's not our main texture where is our main texture i think i lost it let's put it back here this will be my main texture outside of the scale folder so this scale will be just the glow let's call it glow and let's remove the mask here call it stone or rune so this is our rune and then we will have overlay this one is one to one scale and these ones are uh, scaled down three times to not waste time. So this structure will be repeating for all these three stones exactly the same. And they will go and inside the same slot that will be created for, for the skins. It's not going to duplicate the whole structure. They will be placed inside the same bones. I'm going to just also create a bone so you see um, bone and let's call it glow and let's create another bone and call it a room container refine our selection make it smoother um shift edges i want to expand the selection and maybe add a little bit contrast oh no maybe we should actually do a feather yeah Great, so this is our uh, let's set uh, opacity 100% and pick the black and color this. No, I think white. No, black. Yeah, I should revert the selection. Yeah, great. You know, better way just show us. I would really like to see. I'm too lazy to watch uh, Photoshop tutorials. Okay, we have the rune um, that I can make whatever color i want later uh, i will keep it as is for now but clearly i can change the colors most likely i will try first to set the linear dodge if this works which is not looking promising then i'm gonna leave it if no maybe i will change the color so uh, i have this i have the stone um i will need some pieces of the breaking of the stone you know um but maybe no, maybe no. Maybe I will leave it for now and see how much time I have. Because if I make the pieces, it will take a little bit more time and it will take a lot more when I animate. We remember, we have a limited budget here and that doesn't mean we need to do less quality, but it does mean we need to be um, objective and see what actually uh, worth investing our resources. Okay, so let's repeat that for the other ones. I'm naming the same name. It's going to be stone. If I don't, it will create another slot for it. But now if it is the same name, it will go ahead and place inside the same slot. This is what I need. And basically they all need to be called stone. And you can see that the bone name is also the same room bone. But for now, let me just uh, duplicate this four times and another one for the room. This all goes as a glow. I'm going to copy the glow. Paste it here. We have the glow scale. And this one will be called room. Let's show it up and take the room. Okay, I think I have it selected. I'm happy with this. Let's refine it. Smoothen, feather, contrast, and let's shift the edges a little bit. Add a mask. Oh, it automatically takes it. That's nice. Just learned that. Wait, and now let's do the runes. I'm gonna activate this one and uh, the glows this is going to be the glows this time i will just select it with feather with 10 
Let's pick the first part. Mask it. Okay. Second part. Let's create some wave. Let's make a proper names. One, two, three, and four. We have uh, bone. We have our scale. Note that this is not going to be placed under same slot. For that, I would need to create a slot tag. I want them to be placed in two separate slots so I can make alpha fade in, fade out. If it's under the same slot, uh, I have only option to switch them. Oh, it was actually very, very quick. Um, yeah, so let's export this script and I didn't have set up. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Trim. Ignore hidden layers. No, just on. Yes, 100%. And let's put this all inside images folder. So let's check Yellowstone. We have our textures. They are very small compared to the big ones, the original ones. Uh, this is also small. I think it's enough. So let's uh, put this inside spine and start animating. Let's import it and let's save it under the same skeleton, uh, same project. Okay, we have our skins. Let's delete default skeleton. Uh, save it. Okay, this is the moment why it's off. Nobody knows. And where is the stone? Why it's not active? It wasn't active here. Yeah, maybe I did move and that just got saved. Let's actually find the center with the guidelines and pin it here. Now I'm going to export this. How was it so far? Let me know in the comments. I really like reading comments. And this actually keeps me motivated to create more content. This is a niche sector, which means I can grow very fast but also means that I will grow only at a limited amount. Let's see the blue stone. Beautiful. It's in the center. Um, let's see how we have our things set up. So this is good. The, the slots, I'm going to work with them later. See, we have one single bone and one single bone for glow. That's beautiful. As expected, this glow will have four slots and this will work for for all the stones and we can right away start animation I think I could have set them uh, additively here which is linear dodge so let's do that so you can see and it's gonna be glow let's filter all the glows select all of them Give them this and the same should go for the runes. They also should be additive. What is this? Okay. Let's not care about it now. I'm going to re-export it. That's it. Okay, so let's hide them and start animation right away. and hide the rune. I don't need to see them. We'll start with the blue stone. So what do we need? We need uh, some animation that makes them grow and then go back and explode. When it grows, we should see this rune and we should see it close. But before that, maybe I should also start uh, meshing it so I can see some 3D in action. I'm not going to make a uh, full 3D as you see a lot of animators do as uh, just showcasing their skills or their achievements. I'm, I'm very practical man. I do whatever is 
easy and still provides a beautiful quality. So this would be my mesh for it. Let's create bone controller and change its icon to the hand, my favorite. Maybe change its color to black. Let's select the mesh and bind it to the controller and room container. So this all will go to the room container and uh, front surface that is closer to us will go to the controller. I want to have 60 frames, you know, it's, it's a slot game. We don't need to have um, a longer timeline here. Uh, first 10 frames, he comes closer. I actually would like to have also frame that comes there to import the frame. So I see where I'm uh, animating. import it this time i'm going to import it into existing layer i don't care if it replaced because i know that uh, this is, there is no slot or attachment named like that so we have our frame here that's right away mark it as an export and not selectable yeah it grows does it thing then goes back goes back much faster boom and basically explodes here it's gonna disappear here thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the next video will be animating um, the rest of it and maybe we'll be adding more details and planning to also animate the fires maybe change this make it a little bit more like tree and maybe adjust the timing because i don't really like how it explodes and then we see a little bit more of the animation so i would like to just finish with explosion and some debris and all that so maybe i will include this rune that's shining up on the stone and with uh, some extra animations so all that in the next video thank you very much uh, subscribe if you want to not miss that video bye